this video, we're going to talk about another of the ways that you can access your ebooks online. So, if you haven't already viewed our video about accessing ebooks and using the Ohio Digital Library, be sure to head on over and check that out because it'll tell you about logging into your account and what information that you need. If you have already done that and you've got all of that figured out, then we're going to talk about how you can access these ebooks that you now can get. So, one way is to use a Kindle, and if you have a Kindle, that's a great option, but you might not. And if you don't have a Kindle, that's fine. You can still use these e-books. So you're going to find the book that you want, and once you find it, you're going to need to double check the options for format. Come on over. It'll be on the right side of the screen after you click on that book, and it'll tell you the formats. Kindle book, Overdrive read, or EPUV ebook. Now, if you don't have a Kindle, I would say the easiest choice is to use the Overdrive Read format. So, once you find a book that you want, you're going to click on Borrow. Use the drop down to click how many days you want to borrow it for. And once you've got that set, you're going to click on Borrow again, and it will give you a couple different options for how to read that book. You can read now with Kindle, or you can read it in a browser or download the EPUB ebook. Click on Read Now in Browser, and it will open that book up for you, and you are ready to read. It's that simple. Once you have access to your ebook, to navigate within it, you're just going to click, and you'll have these options. If you click right here where it says title page and you say something different in the book that you download, it's going to open this sidebar that's going to show you the different places you can jump to in this book. So right now we're on the title page, but you can go to the contents page, which is going to show you everything in this book, and you can click to see the next pages. So you're just going to click on the screen and it will show you the pages and navigate through it. Click down towards the bottom to pull up this again, and now we're at the dedication it shows you, and you can look and jump to wherever you want to be, and it will take you to that page. Click on the right side of your screen, and you'll turn the page. Click on the left side of the screen, and it will go back a page. Then you are good to go, and you also have a sync option, so if you read it on this device that you've downloaded on and then read it on something else, you can sync to the furthest place you have read by clicking right there. You can search in it, you can press here to bookmark this page so you can be sure to find where you left off. Now, if you close this and you don't know where to get your book back again, it's not gone, you haven't returned it, so if you're still on this screen, you can go to Loans, or Go to My Account and then click on Loans, and that's going to show you all of the books that you have borrowed right now. So you still have this book. It expires in 21 days, so it'll automatically return in 21 days. So once you've done that, you can click Read Now in Browser, and it'll open it right back up to where you have left off. And here's our bookmark, and you can click and get rid of that and keep reading. So it's that simple. When you're done with this book, if you are finished before the days are up, you can go ahead and return it because you do have a limit on the number of titles you can have out at one time. So, you can click where it says return, and then it'll want to verify that you do want to return the title. So tell it, yes, I do want to return the title, and it will be returned for you, and now your limit is back up to 10 titles. It's that simple. If you ever have any questions or need information about logging into your account or won't let you in, give us a call and we would love to help you out and get you set up and ready to go. Enjoy your ebooks!